Okay, so we know what the cosine rule is. It's this big long formula here. We're going to use it to find unknown lengths. Now, first of all, before we get started, I really want to talk to you about like why you would use the cosine rule. Because it is more complicated looking than the sine rule. Uh, so you want to avoid using it unless you have to use it. So when do you have to use it? Here's an example of when you would need to use it, right? If you know two lengths and you know one included angle. What do I mean by included angle? Look at where the lengths are. Length, length. This is the included angle. It's the angle between them. Well, why do we have to use the cosine rule here? It's because the sine rule won't work. Because we have angle A, and that's side A, and we have length B, and we have length C. So we have one thing from the A's, one thing from the B's, and one thing from the C's. We need two things from the B's, or two things from the C's, or two things from the A's to make the sine rule work. So in this case, with two sides and an included angle, if we want to find a length, we've got to use the cosine rule. Now there is one other setup where you need to use the cosine rule. If you know three lengths and you want to know an angle, we've got the same problem. We've got side A, side B, side C, and we want to know A. We've got, we know something from each of the A's, B's, and C's. In order to use the sine rule, we need to know two things from one of the categories. We don't here when we know three sides and we want to know an angle, so we would have to use the cosine rule. Let me put some words next to these. There we go. Two sides and an included angle, that's when you use the cosine rule, or three sides and no angle, that's when you should use the cosine rule. Now in this video, we're not going to be finding unknown angles, we're going to be finding unknown sides. So this is our focus, two sides and an included angle. Now before I get started, I want you to look at the cosine rule and just see what's going on, because we actually kind of need three versions of the cosine rule, but I don't want to teach you three versions, so I just prefer to explain to you how it works. We have the un we have a side that we want to know. This is the side we want to know, right? This is a side we know, 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 and this is the angle opposite the side we'd like to know. Okay, you can actually kind of write out three different versions of the cosine rule, like I said. Um, it's just transposing A's, B's, and C's. But we don't want to do that. We just want to use our brain every time we see a triangle. Here is my triangle. I would like to find this unknown length. Now, I'm going to purposely label this up in a strange way, just so I can give you a sense of what, what I mean when I say I want you to think about the formula. Uh, A... B and C, these are my angles, and so that makes my sides, this one lowercase a, this one lowercase b, and this one lowercase c. Okay, so what do I want to find? I want to find lowercase c. All right, so that's the thing I write first. I write that one first. x squared equals the two sides I know. I know this one squared plus this one squared minus two times the side I one of the sides I know another one of the sides I know cosine of the angle opposite the side I want to know twenty three okay hopefully that makes sense when I said I'm going to purposely label this up incorrectly, right? Sometimes people will just already have labelled the triangle for you, in which case you're not purposely labelling it incorrectly, it's just labelled incorrectly to begin with. It doesn't matter which ones A's, B's and C's are, just the unknown one, the lengths you know, the lengths you know, and the angle opposite the one you want to know. Okay, uh, this, I don't know why, but this causes issues for students. So I want to mention how to calculate this, right? 4 squared plus 5 squared, and then this here is a single number, right? Minus 2 times 4 times 5 cos 23. That's a single number. Very often I see students make the mistake of kind of like joining these up. 
and then at the end multiplying it by cos 23. Definitely, definitely not what we want to do. Now, of course, if you're good with your calculator, you can essentially type this all in in one go and you'll be fine. I'm not going to type it all in in one go here because I, I want you to see that this is a single number. 16 plus 25 minus 2 times 4 times 5, so that's 20, so that's minus 40 cos 23. And you can see this 40 cos 23, that's a number. Specifically, it's negative 36.82 according to my calculator here. All right, and my answer is 4.18. And it's really at this point, again, when you really want to stop and think, is that answer correct or is it incorrect? Well, this length is 4, this length is 5, and this angle is very small. Really, like 23 degrees is a small angle. My answer is wrong, right? It, it, that side should be way smaller than that side. That, this isn't right. So what have I done wrong? I've forgotten x squared, right? The formula doesn't say a equals this. It says a squared equals this. So the mistake that people, or I guess the second mistake that people often make with the cosine rule is forgetting this last step. x is equal to the square root of 4.18, not just 4.18. 2.04. Now that makes a lot more sense. If I was drawing a triangle that was 5 by a side that's slightly shorter than that at an angle of 23 degrees, right? 4, uh, sorry, 5, 4, and about 2 ish. That looks like it makes sense, right? You're going to forget the square root sign. You're going to forget because you've done all these extra steps, you're going to forget to square root it at the very end. You'll know that you've forgotten to square root it at the very end because you'll check at the you'll check the triangle. You'll look at your answer and go, too big, way too big. I forgot to square root it. I'm sorted. I know what to do next. So that's finding unknown lengths with the cosine rule. Super straightforward. Um, go forth. Practice. Practice.